usual uh, state of mind, I'd say it was, uh, uh, you know, there was a lot of work to do with the club in, in many ways, uh, such as structuring uh, all the fitness uh, for all levels. We had created a document with that. There was many, many different projects that went, uh, uh, obviously coaching the, the professional team, the senior team was also a great motivator for me. Um, I think, I think it's the whole organization, it's the people you work with and for that, that is important and, and when, you love, when you love something you do, it's really about how, how much freedom you're able to have to, to be able to be creative and, and here at, at Arca Sport Club we, we have that. Uh, it just got better with the years so that's, that's part of the reason where, why I wanted to stay. Um, I love coaching, I love, I love developing athletes. Uh, we do this year. We have a lot of young athletes to work with, and uh, our, our, the growth of our athletes has been good. You know, we've been we've been seeing some athletes have left as well, but we, we were able to raise some really good volleyball athletes at the pain of the club in Turkey, uh, and uh, and here obviously with our senior team. I think I think the important thing is is that is being able to develop trust and being able to uh, to work and and prepare like present projects and 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 once they're agreed on working on those projects, we've done that at, at our Sport. There's been some physical transformation within within the the, the club. There's been a bit that that have really helped us uh, work more efficiently with our athletes. Um, there's also uh, been some projects that we've done over time. Uh, creating documents for long-term athlete development. Uh, also, you know, doing some uh, research with, with the Qatar Institute uh, on on jump volume, and so we've been able to really expand uh, our cash sport uh, reputation. It already has a great reputation across Europe uh, for for volleyball, uh, but you know, we wanted to touch other things and really expand the. the, the uh, the image of of our passport across uh, across the world. Um, I would say that it's really about the mission statement of, of, of Mr. Arcas, where it's to develop and and to uh, sports enthusiasts to uh, to the sport platform really help uh, our kids uh, become better better Turkish citizens. Also help play, put put players and make the Turkish national team better by putting players on that. We've done that, and I think we'll do that in the future. We've got some really talented athletes coming up. Um, that's what it means, actually, is is having the possibility to to put this energy uh, to help uh, basically uh, children and teenagers and, and grown men to to just uh, have more impact and, and have done with their life. So I think that's. That's what the statement wants us to do. I think it's a great statement. I think it's uh, it's it's all to to the. Uh, it's really about I think the impact that the, the Akash family has in this city, and uh, it really uh, the principles behind it are, are, are really good and, and they really uh, motivate us to to, do, uh, to to make it better and do a good job. Uh, as far as the future is concerned, like you know, I think already, uh, I think Arcas has been innovating, like such as, as uh, with the social media platform, with some of the, the, the technology stuff that we, we, we've created here. We have a, I think, one of the best club uh, as far as, as the way it's structured to develop athletes for the future. I think we just have to stay, to stay. Uh, just be aware of change and where we can have an impact to continue our mission of developing our athletes and, and, and being better. I think, I think sports evolves and uh, as long as we, we stay in tune with, with what's coming up, then, then our cast sport will, will flourish. It's exciting. There's been May. Uh, I would say that Probably the title we won. Um, I don't, the last, the last uh, Turkish league title was a really interesting one. Would be, uh, would be 
Dao Bank went with all their stars and stuff and I think it was in Yersin or Arada, I don't know. But uh, we, uh, that was a great souvenir. But you know, I'm, I'm really attached about the process. To me, to see the athletes grow is always like something. I see uh, Edgar Mizoru, I've seen many of our athletes grow through the years and that gives me great, great satisfaction. So, so titles, titles come and go. But uh, you know the the actual process that you use to get to those titles, meaning each individual and how you develop the athletes, is, is very uh, fulfilling for me and anyway, the coach. Going back. Yes. Uh, uh, well, the actual coach that was there, Stefan Antiga, had uh, had some personal problems and couldn't continue. So I was asked just to come back in and we had a very short period between the time that Stefan, uh, I think it was a nine month period between the time he, he left to the time that we would get to the Olympic qualification system. So changing technical leadership would have been difficult. So basically we decided to go with Federation contacted me to try to, to see if we could stay with kind of the same because the players that were there were the same players that I brought up through the years. So it just uh, it was just a question of, of uh, finding an agreement, and we did, and uh, and then I, I went back, and resumed uh, the technical leadership. Of the um, well, you 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 learn about that situation as you go. It's obviously not a situation that's that's usual. Usually, you have kids that are your coach that are not necessarily your children. Um, the big thing though is that you have to get your Nick or any other players ready for competition. Competition is, is a hard environment. It's an environment where somebody else wants you what you want. Um, and you will only get it through hard work, through an honest hard work and through pushing yourself. And so the coach is there to guide them, to push them at times. So I have to do the same with him. So sometimes we've learned that, you know, sometimes you yeah, have a father and son, but sometimes also in your coaching player relationship. And that coaching player relationship can be very direct. Uh, just because when he is growth and he's part of a group, so he needs to do his, his job to be able to, for the team to grow uh, and, and be better and, and win games. I think I think they naturally come to it because I was a player and we were small and they, they followed us all the time in the gym and stuff. So they they played many sports, but uh, they came back to volleyball and their their love. So you know we didn't really push them. They played hockey, they played football, they played many many other sports. So, um, uh, so you know for for them it was a question of choice and uh, we let them naturally go to that to where they wanted to do and, and they chose volleyball. So. Well, the difference between playing is playing is you're you're, you're being coached. You're, you're focusing on learning things and, and trying to perform. So learning how to, to behave as a player, learning how to organize your life so that you have a healthy way of living, learning how to uh, to work with others, uh, teammates and such. Uh, as a coach, you need to teach that to the players. So you need to guide the players into learning these things. Uh, learning, learning new skills can be a thing, learning what tactics, uh, learning how to behave in a group. Uh, a lot of the players are often have, everybody's got an ego, some bigger than others, but when you play volleyball, you need others to win. And if you don't learn that, if you don't accept that, then you will never win. So you can be the greatest player, but you, you will always need others to be able to perform. So that's one of the, so you're teaching a lot of lessons uh, when you're coaching. So for me, uh, to, for younger players, the important thing is to have what we call a growth mindset. It's not have excuses, not have, if you want to grow your potential, if you want to become the best, you need to want to learn, you need to not have excuses, you need to enjoy effort, uh, you need to put the time. There's no secret, uh, talented, you know, potential means that you're average until you bring that potential to its, to its re re realization. So. Um, so you know, and it's it's very difficult. Often ego gets in the way. So I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm already, 
you know, well then you stop growing and you can grow with all of your life. So I think to have a growth mindset, to have the, the idea of learning, that you're always learning something, to set small objectives every day is the way to go. Like how, how well, when I wake up in the morning, how what am I going to accomplish that day, you know, as a player, as a person. So if you do that, then for sure you will grow. I don't know about the future, but uh, you know it's uh, it's a great uh, it's a great city. I really love it. We're great people. We've uh, we've enjoyed our life. We've learned we, we've learned the culture. We uh, it's uh, we love our country, obviously Canada. But uh, you know Israel now has been been our own for, for all that time. Uh, our friends are here, and uh, we don't like I said I don't know about the future, but we're really really happy here and we'll continue to be happy because the people that I work with. People I work for, and all our all our friends are here. My son obviously married a lovely, lovely Turkish girl. So you know, many reasons not not to leave. Actually, but uh, we will see.